Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And yesterday I did a video about the blend tool. And somebody just left me a message on my YouTube channel. If there is a way to tell which ones are the control curves. So I made two. He said, like, if you have 200 of them, you know, you'd have to go through here and pick them all. But there's a secret kind of not very well known or documented. But we're going to go up to effects and we're just going to make a new uh, blend. Sorry, I'll hit the bevel. Effects blend. And we're going to blend this thing a hundred times. Now we're going to make a new path. And let's do a, a square this time. Take the object. Go to new path. Click on that box. Rotate along full path. And there, from this distance out, I don't know if you can see that in your monitor, you can see some nodes highlighted. You click on here and you can see some nodes highlighted. It's kind of hard to see it in this example. The blend is always going to be at the end. And if you click on this thing, there's these two dots. That's the end of the blend or the start of the blend. Your control will be that one, control. And your other control will be at the other end. That's common. You know, that would be easy to find. But how are they when you're doing a circle? Well, I've, I've done with this a lot. And normally it's going to be at the top. And let's just click on our blend. And there's four, like, little dots on my deal. So this is the start of the blend. It's a blend on path group. But this one right here is my control. And this one is the other end. So I don't know if you can see that. When you click on the path, you've got these three, four nodes showing up. That's the start of the blend and in between the end of the blend and the start of the blend and then the middle. The one we just did, the same thing. This time it didn't put it in the center. We'll have to like select it all. This time it put it over here. It started way over there. There's four little bitty, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but they're minute, but they're right there. There's your control. There's your control. This is the blend. The blend is a group. So to change it, you have to go to break blend apart to move one of those things out of the way. So your two control ones still stay there. And that might not be a bad way if you had a lot and you couldn't see that in the monitor. Let's just back up here. So this blend is all together. Let's select it all, break blend apart. And I wouldn't, that's a pretty big square, 112 inches. So let's make it 120 inches. Just grab anywhere on your blend and, and move it out of the way. Well, there's your two controls because they didn't go with the blend. So that's one way to find them. But if you, you should be able to see this in your monitor. And actually, if you have a newer version of Corel, you can actually make those, probably those little nodes even larger. But to use this thing, we've already got it broken apart. Take away your path. And there's a lot you could do with this. That would, you know, you could make these things uh, engravable. You know, make them eighth of eight points and black. That would all engrave. Or you could take this and weld it. And then you've got a funny ripple for a frame. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Hope that answered his question. And thank you for watching.